Say something for the podcast. Tell the people what you feel. I'm just jazzed about being on the show, man. You are listening to The Objective Jerk, where objectiveness is the objective, and I am said jerk. What is going on, everybody? This is The Objective Jerk, and I am said jerk. Hope everybody's doing well. Um, Yeah, I wanted to kind of talk about something else. I guess I've talked about it before, but or this kind of topic, but... I just want to kind of get away from Trump and politics, even though this is kind of political, I guess. I don't know, but I just, um, plus I only got like, uh, I got 24 minutes left on my monthly whatever for my, uh, podcast. So I'm just getting that done. I just got done watching. So this is. This right here is why I don't like watching shit. And I'm very, very um, cautious with certain documentaries. You know, I'll, uh, whatchamacallit, I'll kind of research the individuals that are making it to see if there's like some kind of agenda, which a lot of them have and do. It's kind of like, one-sided argument or whatever so like a lot of people i like watching those uh you know true crime um documentaries on netflix a lot of them especially the older ones i don't like watching anything that's happened recently i don't know why but um i watched a new one oh yeah about uh this guy who was on like a, a love triangle and there was all kind of crazy stalking. It's not really something I like watching, but I watched it and it was really good. And then I was all in this mood to watch, you know, whatever. So then I come across American Nightmare, which started off really intriguing and I'm watching it and I don't want to say, well, whatever. If you've seen it, you know what I'm talking about? If you haven't seen it. I wouldn't, whatever. I don't recommend it. I I give it a thumbs down. I didn't even finish it. I think I was on the last episode, but it was just, it started off as a a neat crime, whatever, and then it just became this man-hating, law enforcement-hating, trust-all-women kind of thing. You know what I mean? Like, the third episode is just nonstop shitting on men, law enforcement, and... You know, and then like the, the the only law enforcement that's shown in a good light for the most part is a woman, of course. Um, but, you know, I'm not the type of person that's like, oh, you know, all law enforcement are right and good. No, there's there's shit people in every every uh, everything, you know, in every every profession, every profession has a piece of shit. OK. Here's the thing is like this show is very one sided. It, I mean, it, there is evidence that the show shows, you know, and as I'm watching this, I'm like, dude, these, these cops are kind of like sucky, you know, they're, I don't know, but at the same time, being an MP and being a civilian, uh, army police officer for a time, I can see some of, what looks to be just flat out negligence on the law enforcement side. Um, like it had like an FBI agent who was in charge was dating the ex-girlfriend and everything. And yeah, that doesn't seem right. But the thing is, is like, we don't get somebody from then saying why they let it happen or whatever. You know what I mean? Um, and, The thing is that people have to understand and the thing that normal people will watch the show and just be like, oh my gosh, cops don't fucking care. They just, and you you know, there are some, they're disgruntled, burnt out cops, you know. The thing is, 
people need to be more upset with the people who cry rape when there actually was no rape. They need to be more upset with them than law enforcement. Police officers deal with fake rake rake fake rape accusations way more than actual ones because women that get raped don't want to report it. So I'm not saying all of them, but a lot of the rape cases that get reported end up being bogus and bullshit by crazy men or and or women. You know what I mean? So when a law enforcement officer is dealing with, you know, the 5,000th rape charge that they dealt with and, you know, 60% of them have been all bullshit, you know, yeah, they're going to be a little jaded, I guess you would say. But the thing you got to think, too, is the story of how it happened, the original one. I mean, you know, there was multiple cases involved with this guy. But the original story was insane. So it's like, you're going to be like, dude, what? You know, and they're all, you know, oh, I'm getting questioned and this and that and blah, blah, blah. They're not even, they don't even care. They just, they're going after me. It's like, well, yeah, because statistically, that's how it is. A woman disappears. It's the fault of the the boyfriend, the husband, you know, or some guy that was like stalking them maybe. But, you know, there are things that you have to go through. And it shows like the guy took a polygraph with the FBI and then the FBI is like, hey, it came back inconclusive. I know you did it. I know you did it. Dude, that's interrogation. That's how they get people. They break people down. They tell them tell them lies a little bit to make them think, oh, we got your DNA. We got your DNA. Oh, my God. Okay, yes, I did it. You know, that's what they do. That's how they do interrogations. The thing is, is I bet you that... The a lot of the conversations that it shows the law enforcement, it's all like edited and just kind of shown the parts to make the law enforcement and the men look like douchebags. I'm not saying that those guys did a good job. It does appear that they kind of dropped the ball. Um, but the thing is, is like people need to understand there's always two sides, you know, and you can't just. And this show is just really showing one side. Look at this. And then this show like this makes people who have no clue, have never been raped, never been dealt with the police, never anything. And they see this and they're like, oh my God, police are evil. Defund the police. I mean, you know, the whole defund the police happened years ago now. But it's still like people watch these shows and they get these opinions about shit that they know nothing about because these shows are very biased, you know? I don't know how many times I've watched a show and just been like, oh my God, and I've turned it off, just like this one, you know? It was like, dude, it just, it should have had some other people. You know, like I watched, I watched the show about the Indian chick who was like who had her sister was kidnapped and then ended up being her daughter and she was like famous and rich or whatever that bitch is crazy but it had both sides had her side it had everybody's side that was still alive so you could kind of okay you know come to the conclusion that that bitch is crazy this one was just all the victims and the the good female cop and that was it and they just paint This thing saying like, oh, see, men don't believe women when they're raped. Men don't like women. Cops are evil. You know what I mean? It's like, dude, this is the kind of shit that causes problems in society when they keep seeing shit like this over and over again. It's not a well, I mean, it's a well, like, edited and shot documentary. Like, it was, dude, it started off great, but it just became this man bashing whatever, you know, all women are telling the truth kind of shit. And we all know that that's not true. The fucking Johnny Depp and what's her face? You know, women lie. They lie. Do men take advantage and rape women? Yeah, all the time. Fucking, yes. Yes, it happens. We get it. It's just... The show... Should have had... 
the individuals because I mean I understand like and you know I'm watching the show the 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 main dude who 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 came to the police my girlfriend's kidnapped and the whole thing was like what the hell you know and you're watching it and you well I guess at the beginning you don't know what really happened but there does come a point where okay we do know that she was kidnapped and so you're like oh man that would suck having like and I'm sitting there picturing like what I would say and be like dude okay you know what I get it the situation is crazy and statistically speaking I would be the one to do it but the thing is if I'm telling the truth what are you doing to help that like you're not doing anything you know what I mean like it just I don't know that's the kind of shit I would say and then if like if it was me or if I was if I was the individual who was who who's doing the documentary cuz it seems like the person that directed it had an agenda to just paint law enforcement and men in a bad light and if they would have just been a little bit less biased and let them you know one of the victims say hey I get it you know law enforcement deal with whatever this and that but you know they fucked up here you know people fuck up they do and I don't know. I I haven't even I haven't I actually meant to look up and see if um you know I think the the law enforcement officers nothing happened, but we don't who knows. She was released, but so far I'm thinking it's gonna be very similar to the what Sherry Poppy and Quinn Gary did. Can't wait to see if I'm right, kinda of hope. And but I, I saw like a lot of reviews and stuff about it, and they're just yeah, oh my gosh, it's disgusting. Blah, blah, man, and you know what I mean? It's like it's doing exactly it's almost it's like propaganda, man. Like they're trying to I gotta get a mount thing for my or I gotta get a better table. I noticed that my table keeps wiggling around. But oh, I need my glasses. Getting old, getting old. All right, but all right. See, let's see. True crime directed by Bern, and I can't click on it. See, Bernadette, both women. Probably one of them was like assaulted, which sucks, man. You know, I have family and friends that have been sexually assaulted, and it's it's horrendous. It's like you, you know, I don't know if it. Like I get it, but you know. There's always two sides to every story. And it does appear that, you know, these guys, some of these law enforcement officers were dropped the ball, right? But the thing is, is like they don't really show you so much. I mean, they're giving their opinions like, oh, yeah, they dropped the ball. But it's like, okay, well, you know, I don't know. You just you got to have from the other, I don't know, the other individuals. All right, so I'm looking up the producer slash director, the Bernadette Higgins, Tin, Tinder Swindler. See, there's not much on here. See, this is usually what I do because I've been, see, like just now. I just watched this show and I'm like, gosh, this is fucking stupid. Um, Or it's just, they just went about it the wrong, they really just, you know, it's obvious that they had an agenda. You know, let's see. She did the tin, Tinder swim. Posing as a wealthy jet settling diamond mogul, he would woo, woo women, then con them out of millions of dollars. Now some victims plan for a payback. So again, it's like, you know, bad man taking advantage of women. You know, there is kind of a, let's see, till death to his part. What is that? Investigative series that chronicles the relationship of couples that end with a fatal destiny. So usually it's probably the women that got killed or something. That's all. In 2014, police were called to a lifeless body. Let me see. So this is this is somebody's review of it. Or Jason, he has suffered a series of misfortune and put their marriage under enormous pressure, but nobody expected it to lead to murder. Wait, what happened to the review thing I clicked on? User reviews. Be the first to review. Well, where is their review I just looked at? So they have... See, that's the thing, too, is they have professional critics that review it. 
And of course, they're all like, oh my god, it's the greatest thing. Men are horrible. Yes, men are men. Men are human. Humans do horrible shit. And you notice I said humans, not just men, not just women. Everybody. But it's just, I don't know, man. It's just, these are the things that I, I, I notice. And it sucks because it's like I was really enjoying it. And it's like I think they could have... They could have went about it a little different. I mean, maybe the, the the law enforcement individuals didn't want to comment or be a part of it. And that's, I didn't finish it all the way, so maybe that is true. And it probably is true, you know. But, I mean, I watched most of it. I didn't watch, like, the last, what was it? What, what was left? So, I was on the last episode... Dude, I had like three minutes left. So I basically watched all the things except for the end where they have fucking some information or some shit. But it's just very agenda driven, one sided, and it's noticeable. But then you have people that don't catch those things and don't know. And then it just creates more shit. Now you have people that hate. Poli- I don't like fucking, you know, I don't like the FBI and, and corrupt, you know, whatever. Dude, I've had. I've been a police officer. I've had guns drawn on me for a bullshit reason. You know, like, I I, I get it. But the thing is, I don't know. It's just shows like this will make people hate police. And and for what? Because you watched a documentary that was edited by somebody who, you know what I mean? It's just, it drives me nuts. I'm sure this thing was, like, critically reviewed. It's a masterpiece. I don't know, maybe I should maybe do a review on it or something. But I think you got to log in. I don't even think I have an account with IMDb or whatever. But it's just this kind of crap that just kind of irks me. That's why I'm doing this. I, I was sitting there thinking about it. I'm like, dude, this is annoying. And again, I wanted to like share my thoughts. And um, here we are. But I don't know. It's just, see, it's this crap right here, you know. The Indian one was pretty good. The one I watched before that, you know, I'm not like fucking Sherlock Holmes or anything, but it's like I do catch things. I do notice things. And I watched the one before that, you know, and it was like I kind of guessed it though way before the big twist in the whole crazy story. I was like, dude, I'm thinking, you know what I mean? Uh, I mean, I didn't get exactly right, but, you know, I watched it. I enjoyed it. Okay. I didn't catch anything wrong i wasn't looking for anything wrong but i wasn't looking for anything wrong with this show either i was just watching it and then all of a sudden it's like i just start noticing all this crap men are horrible police can't do their job why would they do this why you know what i mean it's like those are all valid questions you know if i was that guy in that place yeah i'd be i would have been a little more you know like i said aggressive i would have been like dude oh i said it earlier you know i get it I'm the prime suspect, but (laughs) I don't know, but see, you you don't, we don't know exactly everything that's shown because they just show little parts. It's just like, it's just like, it's just like TikTok and whatever. You just get little snippets. They show something. What do you think about this? And everybody's on TikTok like, oh my God, that's bullshit. He should be dead. You know what I mean? And a lot of that's like... Other countries just trying to fuck with us. You know, they're all bots. They're, and on Facebook, people post shit that just to get people, just to get interaction, you know, to get people to say something, to come. And they never say one other thing. They just post this thing because they know people are going to be like, what? You're stupid. Or like, oh, well, yes, I totally agree. And then get people arguing and fighting and hating each other. You know what I mean? I think the world would be a better place. I don't know. I talked about this on my other podcast. And here I go back into politics. But, you know, it's harder for people to get away with an attempt or an assassination of the president in today's age with everybody having a phone and all that kind of stuff. You know what I mean? So it's good in that aspect. But at the same time, it creates a lot of division and so does like stupid ass documentaries like this American Nightmare. 
I don't know. It's I'm trying to think. There was like another show that I watched, another document, and the same thing. I just was like, dude, what? This is stupid. Oh, it was the. I know. It was um. Oh man, what's it called? It was one about like you know the Cold War or something, and you know it's interviewing people. And then all of a sudden it's fucking interviewing Zelensky from Ukraine. Like he's, and I'm like, what the fuck? Why is he on here? And as soon as I saw him say something, I was like, what? I stopped it. I started watching or I started looking up some shit. And I was like, dude, no, fuck this. This is propaganda. And it's, you know, and there is so much. So much of it, too, man. It's insane. I mean, I would say like 60% of entertainment is propaganda. You just don't realize it. You know what I mean? And it's just a kind of form. Because, I, dude, I used to, I think I talked about it before, but I used to have this opinion of rednecks, you know, country people, thinking they're all stupid and, you know, All they care about is, you know, killing black people and gay people and all this kind of shit. And that's because of movies and everything. And it's not like movies that are dealing with racism. It's just regular movies, you know. And they just portray people in these very, you know what I mean? And it's like, that's how I thought of my family, you know, that my my other half of family that were kind of, you know, Listen to country and did all this kind of stuff. And, you know, like, that's how I kind of was like, that's how they are. I'm cool because I'm liberal. I know. I know the real world. You know, it's like, it's it's all bullshit, man. It really is. It's insane. But I'm getting close to my time limit, so I'm going to cut it right here. I uh, appreciate you listening. Um, you know what to do. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. All right, bye. You just put yourself through another episode of The Objective Jerk. Thanks again for hanging out with me. Uh, please email me at theobjectivejerk at gmail.com. Uh, like, subscribe, comment, wherever you find this, follow. It all helps. Uh, but thanks again, and I'll see you next time.